Good. How's the campaign going? It's going really good. I'm really excited. Um, of course, my I, and I need to give uh, you know credit where credit's due. Julie Hargis has just done an outstanding job for me. She keeps me in line, knows where I've got to go, when I got excuse me be there, and really. I couldn't have done this without her. She's working her behind off. Yes, she is. <laughs> yes, she is. She's and actually really a good campaign manager because uh, she's she's very friendly. Yeah, she's very friendly. She's outgoing, and and she's not afraid of work by any means, shape, or form. Um, puts a lot of hours in. Yeah, I'm kind of sometimes I go, oh my god, but. So it's going good. So tell me a little bit about what you've been hearing from the citizens. Well, there's a whole lot of talk about that about basically the same thing everybody's talking about they've been talking about about the infrastructure of the of, of Nye County and, and and our town and the growth and how are we going to fix that and that vicious circle that we've created and how do we break out of it what do we do to change that by you know like I've been saying from day one we have to look outside the box we have to do things differently we can't do business as usual anymore part of that has to do with with uh, taking a hard look again at regional planning because regional planning affects that so much. Uh, we have to have by law, we have to have regional planning. You can't just arbitrarily make it go away. But on the other hand, how much authority do they have to have? So these all, there, there's a lot of things that need to be looked at. Once again, we have to become an open we have to become open to business and industry into this valley. We have to bring them in. We've got to do what it takes to get them here. Are you going to go out there and find companies and bring them into our town? Are you actually looking at uh, doing that instead of going to other um, economic development? I'm, I'm not a big fan of wait and see and let's hope they come. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty aggressive about those things. I think we need to go out and we need to find those things. We need to find people that are looking, bring them into our community, and then walk them through our system and help them get through our system as fast as possible. Go through, tell them what we have that in place. Let's fix it in the infrastructure where we need to to make it a more appealing to them. Okay, and then from that point on, and then help them through our system, and, and, and let's just do business. Let's get them here. Walk them through, and it, will you be giving them tax breaks to come here? I, I would love to see that. Um, of course, now that's going to take, uh, once again, everything I'm talking about cannot be done overnight. Um, it's unfortunate. I wish it could be, but let's, let's be real honest about it. These kind of things take a little bit of time, and if you'll allow me to work on those things, I promise you I will work my butt off on trying to make those things happen to fix our infrastructure because without that we're we're in trouble we you know let's be real people are moving out of Pahrump like crazy there's no jobs here they can't find a job uh, so we need to go out and actively find business and industry bring them in here and help them get through their process are you talking about uh, not to uh, bring in smaller businesses but actually like an industrial park that would be great. We don't have natural gas here, and we don't have a main thoroughfare. Okay, so let's start off with small, okay, and help that small industry that, that we can handle right now. Um, and then let's bring out and, and, and make the changes that we have to make to get a, the, the bigger business industry in here. Because if you go out and solicit large industry to come in, there are certain things that they're going to be looking for, and we don't have all that here. So unfortunately, Prump's not on a main thoroughfare, you know, so it's not like we have a freeway going through here. It's up, and <clears throat> let's be real, we're never going to be Prom Springs, we're never going to be Southern California, so don't compare us to that because that's unfair. Okay, so Pahrump will build, and we let's build it, let's put it together, let's make it easy for business and industry to come here, and let's work on the things that are imperative to get them here. Wonderful. How can people find out more about your campaign or contact you? They can call me on my personal cell phone, and that's 775-209-6706. And if you have a question, you don't necessarily have to be in my district, or you want to know where I stand or somebody, or something you don't understand. I will be more than happy to help you because as a commissioner, it's not just our district. We make decisions on everything that happens in this county. So I'm not the type of person to go, well, you need to go talk to this person because that's your commissioner. You know what? We're all the people's commissioners. And so it's not just this one, this one, and this one. It's the whole county involved with it. Or you can go on my website, and that's Carl Moore for F-O-R-E, district, the letter for, at hotmail.com. Okay, you can find me there. If you have a question, I'll be more than happy to answer. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Bye.